Hi, this is Faraz Samir from dealingwithwindows.com. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to protect your children and family members from uh, seeing and uh, browsing uh, inappropriate website content, like uh, inappropriate website that has uh, inappropriate uh, content, uh, such as uh, sexual or violent etc. So to do that, we have to use a built -in Windows built-in tool, which is called um, Content Advisor. How to reach the Content Advisor? It's so easy just to, to go to uh, Internet Explorer icon on the desktop and then right-click, then select Properties, then click on Content tab. Here is the Content Advisor section. Some of you guys might uh, doesn't have this uh, Internet Explorer in the desktop, so you can reach it simply by c by opening the Internet Explorer normally from anywhere you would like. Then go to sys to uh, Tools, then Internet Option. So so you'll have it here already. So the first thing we have to do here in this interface is to enable the Content Advisor feature by clicking on the enable button we will face the next uh, dialog uh, dialog box which represents the content uh, uh, advisor uh, options in the first uh, tab here we can find that there are different rating levels represents different content website contents for example if we click on violence uh, we will see here description represents the content of all the pages that uh, cannot be shown uh, it means if there is a website uh, content that have one of those contents so the website won't be shown and uh, if we move the slide here a little bit on the right you can see here that we have four levels for each uh, rating level. Uh, the the description of the l of the level will be different. You see here, it's different. So whenever you go to the right side of the level, you the restriction will be less. So it depends on on let's say on demand. Here from the general tab, we can uh, assign a s supervisor password. I will click on create password. I will write down here, for example, one, two, three, four, five, six. Of course, um, this has to be uh, a very good uh, password combination, which uh, the children and the family members cannot uh, know it. So I have to confirm the password again, one, two, three, four, five, six, and I shouldn't uh, lose this password so uh, by writing a hint here this will remind me in the future if I've for a long time for example I've never used this password uh, I might forget it so it's better to write a hint that uh, leads me to remember this password and be uh, you have to be sure that this hint won't let the children or any uh, family members to uh, identify this password. For example, I can write here uh, my numbers. For example, of course, you would know to use different hint, which is more complicated. I just want to show you for an example, and uh, you can leave it blank. By the way, I'll click on OK. Mm. You can see that uh <laughs> it's advising me to enter a hint for this password but uh, now I don't uh, mm. I don't need it then I'll click on apply then OK now this is the confirmation telling you that the content ad advisor has been enabled now I'll click OK then now I will open the Internet Explorer. If I want to open, for example, the Penguin Tools, which is my second website. It's so useful, has a lot of uh, software to download. 
anyway so uh, as you can see here the content advisor has pumped up to ask me to enter the password the supervisor password to access to this website so from here I can uh, uh, if I was the parent or the person who put the uh, restrictions here um, I can select always allow this website to be viewed or I can select always allow only this web page not the all website that containing this web page to be viewed always or allowing viewing this uh, website only this time so by clicking or allowing uh, this website to be viewed and entering the password that I've already created when I click on OK this website link will be added to a place to a location uh, I will show you now which is uh, like a table that con uh, contains all the approved and disapproved website now the website has been opened uh, I will go again to uh, open the internet option then content then settings now you can see uh, the button here were, were was written only enable now it's disabled because it's already enabled this feature I mean so by clicking settings we will have the same interface but first I have to uh, enter the password and this is the security for the settings in order not to let anyone to modify the, those settings I will uh, have the same uh, interface this approved sites you will find here penguin tools uh, were added because uh, I've already assigned it to be always approved we can manually add some other websites such as uh, for example penguin tools I can remove it from this list and I will add it to to the bla blacklist for example I will say never so this website I'll click on apply then OK then OK and I will open penguin tools.com again it will not be shown it will ask me again if I approve it or not now uh, in general tab um, uh, you, we can change the password from here we can write the old password and then a new one I will write 654321 654321 then I'll mm -hmm. click on OK then apply then OK before I, 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 I click on OK I want to tell you something regarding users can see websites that have no rating if I click on this uh, checkbox the, the websites that has no rating in this list will be viewed normally so uh, as if I open the hotmail it will be, it should be blocked if I've never checked this uh, box because hotmail is already is not included within the rating list this list I mean so if I click on this one and I click apply and then OK then OK and open any website for example hotmail.com or dealing with windows.com it will be opened because it has no relation to the rating list you can easily disable this content advisor uh, by using this button disable it will ask you for the last time to enter the um, password I'll click on OK and now the content advisor has been turned off now I'll click on OK and I will use the internet normally I will open this or any other websites so this is how to deal with the content advisor of uh, Microsoft Windows uh, Internet Explorer Thank you.